<laughs> That's funny. You look alright, mate. So does you. Happy? Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Becky. This is Fabian. He's a big talker. And we thought we'd do a new video today. I wanted to include Fabian on my channel a bit more and a few of you have mentioned that before. So I didn't want to make it about him, but I wanted to be able to include him. So here he is. Ta-da! Are you going to say anything? <sighs> anyway, we were going to do a life update, but it looks like I'll, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just be doing it. It's fine. You can hey. stay there if you like. Welcome. Hey! Hey! It's good to see you again. Good to have you back. Thanks for having me. I'm gonna get comfy. I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. You should have stayed on the bed if you wanted to be comfortable. <laughs> We're sitting on the floor in our bedroom because mm -hmm. we have an amazing view in front of us. We live on the water and the lighting's really good in this room. So I thought this would, this would do. Perfect. I'm uh, easily distracted by the view though. <laughs> I know. Thought we'd do some life update stuff. So just so you guys are keeping in the loop of what's been happening in our lives. Cause it's- Pushing on the chair, mate. Okay, sorry. Because uh, we, have a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on and it's hard to sort of keep you up to date with everything without giving too much information or you can, I don't know, it's like you don't want to give everything away but you want to be able to let people in on some of it so they can understand what you're going through and where life is actually going. So I wanted to be really real on this channel, why are you nodding at me? <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of be super authentic and exactly how we are which is so far the feedback that I'm getting is pretty much that so yeah. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's. Great. Life update one. So What's been happening? So the major news, I guess, for you is your new contract. Mm. Yay! I should also add, our, we have an insurance claim out on our house at the moment because our house is leaking. So in order to get the roof fixed, so the, ins come through the, roof. <laughs> the insurance company will pay for the damage that has been caused by a storm, but it won't actually fix the reason as to why the damage has been caused. So they'll fix the result, but they won't fix the problem. So you have to get a builder in prior to the fixing. So we've got the, the builder at the moment and he's on the roof. So he'll be in and out of noise, I think. But yeah, he sounds like he's going to fall in. So yes, back fall to through. fall through. Yeah. Back to you, mm. new contract. That's yeah, great. It is good. It's, um, it's nice to get all, I guess, the speculation yeah, gone. Yeah. You know, I think we can just focus on the rest of the year now. Not have to stress about anything. Not worry who's going to provide the food for the table. And <laughs> get the Wouldn't kids, be me. <laughs> keep the kids uh, afloat, let alone ourselves. But that's no, good. I'm happy. It's um, no, I'm with an awesome team. Um, we all get along really well. So, um, yeah, all pretty happy. Well, you wouldn't be getting those kinds of results. You wouldn't be getting a contract again if you weren't worthy to the organization. So that is a big thumbs up on your behalf. Good job. Oh, okay. So I mentioned in my last video that there was, I think the last one or the one prior, that there's been so much going on in our lives at the moment. I think it was the McKenzie video with the pneumonia. So I'll link that up on the screen just here. And in that, I mentioned that there's been a whole bunch of stuff happening and there were deadlines that we were meeting while we were in hospital. And we are in the midst of purchasing an investment property. And in order to do that, we were doing that with um, a different set of finances all together. And in order to do that, you need to jump through so many hoops. And literally every day for the last almost month, we've been signing paperwork and printing, scanning, emailing documents banks, everything. We have just not stopped. So that's just been keeping us very busy. So we're kind of halfway through. Hopefully this time next month we'll be finished. You can say stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like my autograph, but I've <laughs> used that up a fair bit. <laughs> it's not the same, by the way. No, it's, it's not. Your autograph is diff different to your signature. So I've perfected that one too now. <laughs> As you saw, we were in hospital with Mackenzie. We didn't actually mention that we'd previously, the week before that, been in an ambulance with Carter. Would you like to care to share that story? Do you remember? Yeah, I do remember. Okay, I'll share why, it then. Why are we talking about him? Because we didn't mention it anywhere before. Oh, just sounds like we go to the hospital a lot. Our kids are fit and healthy. Our kids are fit and healthy, but it's what had happened was... She was misdiag misdiagnosed like six times. Yes. Don't get me started, it's a touchy subject. Yes, it is. But with Carter on this particular night, it was about one or two in the morning and I'd gone into 
um, go and see if he's okay. He was making a few noises and so was Mackenzie. So um, both of them were sort of crying and it was a bit of an odd cry. It wasn't like a normal cry and pretty much Carter was convulsing. So when you get to a certain temperature and your temperature spikes, it's kind of like a computer reset. So your body's got to go back into this convulsion type thing to reset itself because the temp gets so high. Um, he had those shakes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. And it was like he was like having a fit, but he was like shivering, but it was a really big body shiver shake thing. And it was terrifying. So I didn't know what was going on. So I just called the ambulance and I said, help, this is not great. Mm. Um, and then we spent a couple of hours in emergency. And after that, you can, you know, when your child's fine. So at about four o'clock in the morning, I just pulled the plug and said, I'm going home because he's fine. And I was here looking after Mackenzie. Yeah, it's nice when you're home and there's something wrong with the kids. I don't feel like I have to be everywhere. Well, it's also hard that, you know, as much as I'd want to come to the hospital and support you and the little man, mm. it's just not possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you get Mackenzie out of bed, we both go, we're all there. Whereas at least you can, I guess, stay in a normal form of routine, routine and not disrupt the apple cart completely. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Ooh, I bought a new horse riding saddle, which mm. has been awesome. I don't know why you're so upset about that because every time you get a new helmet, I'm very supportive and that happens very often. I don't it cost me anything. <laughs> well, my riding saddle didn't cost you anything either. Good work. Yeah, okay. I had my hair done last week, which will be a new video coming up soon. My girlfriend mentioned to me, um, she said, I wanted to talk to you because you mentioned that you were going to a therapist in your last video. And that's true. I am seeing a therapist at the moment. And I just wanted to point out that there's nothing wrong. And I don't think that there's needs to be something to be wrong in order to go and see a therapist. I'm all about trying to be the best version of me. And I, I'm actually really discovering a lot about myself and about the, th the relationships that I have, you know, with my friends, my family and Fabian and everyone. And it's really nice to be able to clarify my personality and the way that I'm thinking and the way that I react to things. And she's just giving me kind of an indication of where I'm at and how I can better myself. So it's not that there's anything wrong because she was quite concerned that there might be something wrong. Um, but there's, it's not the case. It's more that I just want to be the best version of me that I can. So I just wanted to clarify some things for myself. I just thought it was coming through the roof again. <laughs> yeah, I think he's right there. Doesn't sound good, does it? Like a cat on a hot tin roof. Mm. And we also had some measurements at the house taken yesterday, I think it was, from Just Wardrobe. So yep. we'll be getting a new office cupboard very soon, which you've seen my office and it's an absolute pigsty. It's okay, it's just that particular area is not finished correctly. No. So a bit of storage won't hurt anyone. No. Have put, get the printer off the desk and put it in the cupboard. Yep. I like having nothing on any surface. Nothing. Minimal. Yes. That's why you have cupboards. To shove all of your stuff in the cupboards. Tidily. Mm. Are you good at that? I'm perfect at it. Mm. Convincing. What, you don't think I am? Oh, you're all right. I've well, seen well, you. Let's take the viewers for a bit of a <sighs> tour of my cupboards, shall we? And who packs your cupboards? Me. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the washing fairy. The washing fairy. Guys, the washing fairy. There's a washing fairy and a cleaning fairy around this place. Mm. Things just get done. Miracles. Thank you. Do happen. You're welcome. Anytime. So we also thought we'd do um, two other updates in this video. So it would be what's happening in our lives. That would be the first one, which we've just covered. The second one would be what's happening with the kids. So some milestones and things that's been happening with them. And then we also thought where to next as a big family. Here come the dogs. You hear them before you see them. <gasps> Hi, Bronte. Do you want to come join us? Come here. Thank you, mate. So we thought we'd give you an update of what's happening with the kids. Uh, the kids have been very good, actually. So we've been learning some new words, haven't we? We have. And some new actions. What are some of the new words, Dad? Well, they're more sounds than words. Like what? Like cat. Cat. What noise does a cat make? 
What noise does a cat make, Mackenzie? Meow! <laughs> That's the cutest. Hey, stop licking me! It's so cute. She, like her whole, like, face, body, everything, meow, gets into it, isn't it? It's awesome. Very committed cat. What else? Cow, um, dog. There's heaps, you can rattle them off. Mm. Shark, crocodile, it's a funny one. Snap, snap. <laughs> It's really cute. They're really cute. They're getting to such a fun age where they're beginning their little journeys of independence. So they kind of like to do things by themselves and they like little tasks and jobs to do. So if you can keep them busy with things, they are really like happy with that. We've also been getting, we also, well, we spent a fortune at the toy store. We bought these VTech cars. We bought um, this kind of car land thing. And Carter is obsessed with it, isn't he? Mate, stop doing that. The night we, anyway, <laughs> we got it. Carter was so upset that he had to go and have a bath. It's Mr. P. 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 He was so upset that he had to go and have a bath that he wanted to play with them all night long. And we were like, no, mate, we have to go. So we've got them in the car. We've got them at home. We've got a big track. Yeah. Big colorful track. Mate, Bronte. <laughs> Yes, we have a big colourful track. We're also starting to be really good at using cutleries. I've got a really cute video that I'll try and pop in here as well. That's, um, I think it's Mackenzie spooning out the yogurt and then feeding it to Carter. Did I send you that? It's no, really cute. I was away. I'll put it on here. It's so cute. And she, she looks at him and she's like, does what we do, you know? She's like, ma, ma, like spoon in his face. And he just turns around and looks at the spoon and just gulps it up. It's quite cute. Um, so they're getting really good at cutlery, which is cute. Good good job. And Carter's almost running. So he's a very enthusiastic, swift walker, but his little body just doesn't keep up with his mind sometimes. He wants to go somewhere, he wants to be there now, but he's good at tripping over his own feet. So he's getting better at running. He is getting better. It's his Ugg boot, so. Yeah. He's like, looks like he's walking on the moon. His Ugg boots are not too big in size, but because the shape's quite big. He's getting good at it. They're yeah. both getting good at it. They're very cute. Hey, bronze. Mm. Mm. All right, so where to next for us? Oh, that was your list, though. QR round. Next race, mm. Queensland Raceway. Mm. It's a good one, that one. I get to sleep in my own bed. Oh, that's good. It's real good. Don't yeah. have to pack a suitcase. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, we've got your family coming over from New Zealand, your dad and yeah. Nanny Kim are yeah. coming over. They both are, which is cool. That'd be they've, really good. They've been over sort of every three months since the juniors were born, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's really nice having them actually. I think this will be the biggest step since last time. Yeah. You know, I mean, of With the kids. Just what they've achieved and what they do now, I guess. Yeah. Your from dad. what they used to do. The last time um, Fabian's dad came over with Kimmy, they, um, he walked in and it was sort of night time and the kids were just about to go to bed and he came in and he, he's a tall man and he's got very broad shoulders and he came in and he said, Hello, Kenny! And poor Kenny <laughs> cried. <laughs> oh, poor Ken. She was terrified because this, this man in almost darkness comes in and says, Hello, Kenny. She's never met him before and yeah. What well, accent is that? His accent. Hello, Kenny. Which is what? I don't know. Some English thing. Oh, okay. Where are you from? Burnley. Yeah. Burnley. Burnley. British accent. It's not very good, whatever. Yours is quite funny. It's a good try. Thanks. Maybe I'll get your dad on here and he can show us how he does it better. Okay. Okay. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Oh, party pants. Pee pee. Pardon you. It <coughs> is our birthday coming up soon, isn't it? All four of us in this room. Bronte, Pierre's, mine and yours. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is. That's exciting. What do you want to do for it? No idea. Have a cake, blow out some candles. What do you reckon? Mm, I'll organise it, eh? What are you trying to say? Nothing. I'm saying yeah. what you want for it. I don't know what I want for my birthday. You never really know what you want for your birthday, so any ideas, DM me on Instagram. My link is below in the notes, in the description box. So make sure you let me know because I'm always stuck. I've given you about a thousand bracelets over the years. You don't need any more watches. You're not much of a shoe man, your hair's always done and your clothes generally are gifted. So. And washed. Yeah, and folded and put away, so I don't really know what to buy. Mm. I'm easy to buy for. No, you're not. Because you've got everything already. Not everything. Okay. Well, anyway, any ideas, let me know. Thanks. But don't tell me, because then it won't be a surprise. No. So I probably won't read the comments. 
Mm. And any great gifts you've got for me, make sure you message Fabian. I'll put his Instagram in the description box below so you can let him know as well. I'll send you guys some ideas Do it. that you can forward to him. Why, well, thank you. Perfect. Oh, we're going to the snow. You are. You are too. Mm, we'll see. We're not actually going together <laughs> because we have kids and we don't have anyone to look after them. We are going two weekends apart. So you're going with um, a friend and a few of their friends. Yes. And I'm going with a few of my friends. So it should be good. Going to Queenstown in August. So let us know some cool stuff to be doing over there. We've both been before, but there's always more stuff that's happening there and changing and that. So let us know in the comment box below as well what you think we should do in Queenstown. You could go and do the luge. I'm like, did you know I'm actually on the poster of the luge, of the the brochure? And do you know how? Yeah, well, you, Fabian took the photo. But so, photographer extraordinaire over here took Part -time the photo. Part-time driver, full-time <laughs> photographer. <laughs> published, internationally <laughs> published photographer. <laughs> and I'm on the photo, I'll find it. I'll find it somewhere and I'll post it somewhere. The brochure, I've got the brochure. Yeah, we've got, but I'll see if I can actually go and find them over there. I wonder if yeah. they're still on. They will be. They will be? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, and the other update is we are going to go to Auckland with the kids. Ooh. For the race. Bombshell. Bomb. I ain't going shell. nowhere without a passport. Yeah, no, we need to get some passports organised. Don't worry, I'll do it. I'll get the passports organised. I've looked into it. Have you? It's as far as I got. That's handy. Haven't got, we haven't got the forms or anything. Where do you get them? Post office. I reckon you can you're going to get them online, sure. You get everything online. Mm. Shopping, groceries, clothes, shoes. Fairies. Everything. Cool. Well, that's it, isn't it? There's surely there's something else. No, there's nothing else on the list. Let's make stuff up. Well, what else have you got? Um, it's not really your birthday this month, let's be honest. No, it's next month. It's in a month. Yeah, but What's mine the date is today? this month. It's the 11th, so you've got one month and two Ooh, days. Pressure's on. Mine's on the 13th. Fabian's is the 28th of July. Mine's it the 13th of August. It is. Correct. Mm. Birth year of Becky Lamb. <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Dogs. Hey. Security. Security, get him. See him off. She has just snotted <laughs> all over that window. The cleaning crew will fix it. Yuck. Anyway, that is it for our video today. I wanted to keep it short and sweet and to the point. Yep. So that everyone. Got Quality to catch over up. quantity. Yes. So I think we're going to try and do this every month. It's hard to get us both together when the kids aren't here. Even if the kids are here in the next one, it's not going to be a big deal. But mm. just if we can try and get some stuff together, that would be good. Anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I think we've covered it off. Obviously, we can't talk about everything. No. At any given time, but when we can tell you things, we will. So if you have any questions or anything you want to know, if we can discuss it, we will. Put them in the comments below and um, we'll see what we can do. Seems kind of secretive, but it's just kind of like safe, isn't it? Not to say everything. Mm. You can't let everyone in on everything. Correct. But we try, we do what we can because we want to be open and honest with you guys and so that we are really transparent and we, I mean, we don't have any bad things to hide. It's just things that we just can't talk about. Not many things, just some things. That's right. But yeah. So what, are the, what does everyone have to do next? <gasps> like this video, comment down below everything that we've asked for you in here, all the stuff in Queenstown, anything else for birthday gift ideas, send it to either us on DM on Instagram, all of our Social handles are below. And what else? Like this video, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell, please. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ring the bell. Don't forget to tell all your friends about us on this channel, because we want to grow, and we want to make more cool content for you guys. The only way to do that is have more of you following us and subscribe to the channel. And what were you going to say? I was going to say what you just said, so I don't need to say it. <laughs> I took the words right out of your mouth. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us today, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Bye. So baby, we should start